into a rainy day in my life. I get up out of bed. My dogs are still laying there, so jealous. But it's time to get our day started. So today was actually the last day of my cycle. So I really wanted to get in a bath to my lukewarm bath because unfortunately at this time, my wa hot water heater broke. So I did not have any hot water. So to my lukewarm water, mind you, I had to boil water and put it in the tub. I added Epsom salt and I got this really nice bath bomb from Buff City Soap. It smells so good. So I put the bath bomb in and let it do its thing. After the bath bomb dissolves a little more, I do add some of this Dr. Teal's. It's really a body wash but it foams up really nicely and it smells really good. The theme today is definitely moisture. My skin needs it. So give me all the shea butters, all the oils. That's the theme for today's bath. And I usually don't take a bath in the morning, but because it was just so gloomy, I just, I was craving it. And you know, when you're on your last day of the cycle, it just feels good to soak, at least if you're me, that's how you feel. So we're watching some YouTube and in the bathtub, I did bring a little coffee because let's get caffeinated while we relax, okay? Because we do have some things to do today. We're not just lounging. I wish we were. So I'm just rubbing in that body wash that I put in as my bubble bath and the moisturization that came from the Buff City soap not shown but shortly after I took my bath because I did soak I did want to rinse everything off just whatever skin particles oils that were excessive just went ahead and rinsed off and also um, since the products I used were very moisturizing it can leave a ring around the tub so I had to rinse not only my body, but also the tub so it won't have a bunch of residue when you get back in the shower. The bath bomb I used ended up leaving like um, like a moisturizing film. Um, I wasn't mad at it, but it did need it to be rubbed in once I got out. And next up, I need to take care of this face. So I think it's time for a little exfoliation. I love using the Versed face mask, so I'm going to apply this, rub it into my skin. I don't use an applicator, but in this particular bathroom, I wasn't prepared. I didn't have one, so my clean fingers will do just fine. And I'm going to leave this on for a couple minutes and then wash it off. I believe the recommended amount is two to three minutes. Okay, we're in the restroom that is upstairs now, and we're gonna get started with the rest of our face products. I'm gonna use this Ola Henriksen Glow Toner. Um, it has AHAs in it, also good for exfoliation. I don't use this every day because it will dry out and irritate my skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with a very gentle, fragrance-less moisturizer. And this one like works so well. So I picked up this new product. It's a vitamin C serum. Honestly, I got it from Big Lots. It's only like $5. It's really thick. Um, I think it also has like hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm giving it a go today. I just squirt some in my hands and pat it into my face. It did kind of feel sticky, so I think next time I'm just going to mix it in with my moisturizer. From Big Lots, I also picked up this Dr. Teal's lotion. To be honest, it smells like Hudson Yards from Bond Number no. 9. I don't really like the feel, but the scent, I love. In addition to the lotion, I'm also applying some coconut oil to like the rougher areas like my knees, my shins. Plus, I love the glow it gives. Okay, we're gonna brush our teeth. I am trying a new product that has like deactivated charcoal in it. I'm trying to focus more on whitening and brightening my smile. Of course, we got to floss. I'm gonna do floss picks every time. The water pick is cool, it's a little messy. Um, and 
and I just, I don't know, I don't use it that much. After we floss, we gotta get in with some optic white. And then I just learned this from TikTok, gargling with coconut oil really helps with bad breath. Coconut oil is essentially a natural antimicrobial, so it's really good at preventing bad breath. Now when you spit the coconut oil out, make sure to do it in like a paper towel or something because it can clog the drain. It's an oil, it's a saturated fat, so at room temperature it gets, you know, hard. So just be mindful of that. So our hair is looking quite crusty and dusty, so I'm going to take it down and essentially do the same style, which is just two twists put up into a bun. I find this hairstyle to be very quick, very easy, um, and just out of my face. And to be honest, I can't braid, so this is the best I can do. Also, when you take out your hair from having the twist, at least if you have my texture, it looks like a flexi rod set, which is super cute. So I normally leave these twists in for like a couple days, you know, touch up my edges, and then when I take them out, it just is a whole new hairstyle. After we get the hair together, it's time to moisturize these lips. I use Paw Paw's lip ointment, and then I follow it with Lancome's Juicy something or another. I just love it, the sparkle lips. So we've hydrated our body. Gotta take in a few sips of water this morning to hydrate the inside of our bodies. I really wanted to do my lashes, so here we go. I use this lash brand over Lashify. Not really for any particular reason I honestly do the same thing but I'm going to use these two different lash sets one as my foundation and then the other one the envy I like to add like two to three to my eyelashes just to give little spikes most of these products I got from Amazon so I will link them down below also, most of the products that I use in all my videos are located in my Amazon storefront. Feel free to check that out down below. The link is there for your pleasure. So first, this is what they look like. So now you see me adding the little spikies. And I'm just telling you guys, they just come out looking so good. Now these don't last that long. I'm gonna buy some different glue to see if I can get them to last longer, but. So in case you wanna do it too, cause I'm going to forget by the time I edit this video, I did two 14s, five 13s, three or four 11s, two 10s, and then two eights. They're all numbered, okay? I love this little lash lash set and then the more I use it it's okay if like the 14s are gone whatever like I just mix match and play and then for the final touches I like to add like two like spikies and that to me gives it the vibe of like a hybrid set or like almost like a mix between a hybrid and a volume set okay so I'll do one in the middle and one on the inner part. See the difference between this eye and this eye. So now that our lashes are done, I did want to fuel up. I made some oatmeal. In the oatmeal, I have candy pecans and peaches. It just tastes like peach cobbler and it's such a good meal. This has been a couple hours later and I'm ready to work out. Here you'll see me just warming my body up. Today it's a leg day, so you want to make sure to get those hips, those thighs, those calves ready for the work you're gonna put in. This exercise I got off TikTok and I was only able to record half of it before <laughs> my camera cut off. So I worked out for about 30 minutes and I got a, a pretty good pump in. These days I'm trying to lift more. I'm just trying to, you know, get a little thick with two C's, okay?
has my rice so good. So after I ate, on well, me and my husband ate, um, he's rarely ever in these, but he's around, you know? <laughs> but after that, I'm just kind of chilling on the patio. I like to be surrounded in nature. I like to feel the breeze, I like to hear the birds. That sounds very cliche, but this is how I ground. Having some alone time with my thoughts and being in nature. So I'm just gonna be out here for a little while. And then I'm gonna be honest, when it's time for bed, I'm gonna turn on some stupid show. It's gonna be Bob's Burgers or Super Cloud, and I'm a KO. But I gotta thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,